on shield against any character in this game, but Lucina, don't even think about it. All right, well, there's a fist bump here queuing in game one. Charlie versus uh, Velade. It's been a, been a minute since I've actually seen them play. The last time they did play, um, I think Charlie won the last hat from the loser side. He did. Yeah. Took a very long run after losing winner's round two. Right? To a Zelda. To a Zelda, that's right. Yeah. I will see here. Charlie so far in the winner's side. Did not did not lose his round one. His round two uh, this time is going to be staying on the winner's side. We'll see who gets knocked into losers. Velade immediately with a four tail. The one thing I do like from Velade, though, starts off the spacing. Yeah, he really knows how to play this matchup so well. He doesn't want to rush in too early, especially because Charlie loves to approach him there, but if he can just bait it out and Fire. pray for a few unsafe options, he can just do that. Nice. Staying pretty calm. Doesn't want to, wants to be able to react to Charlie's options, but you, it's really hard to react to that one, and that's hard to actually DI at times, because sometimes when the, your opponent goes for it, they just go for it. Yeah, Fair Flash has a fairly tight window on Lucina just because of the middleweight, but it does land there, and now Charlie's going to be the first one to take stock. There, nice. Immediately with a great shine. Quick NX running to grab one at the back air, but going to have to settle for one fair and stage control instead. Four throw. Nice. It sets up immediately for the four throw. Can he catch the edge guard here? And he gets the actual counter going. Great opportunity because uh, Wolf, Wolf Fire has a lasting hitbox. He can actually counter. Wolf and the Falco. It really and does. It not only has such a long startup that you can really predict where it's going to happen, but Charlie lands his second flash of the game and now has to be in the last head. Nice. I like the fact that we do see him go for empty hops. Doesn't go for any aerial. Just kind of stalls his opponent. And at times you can't go for like a shield break because if your opponent's holding on the shield, the shield depletes, and you can't be able to pull through it. Back air. Can you just put him off the stage here? Can you get the edge guard here? And I like the fact that he kind of stays close, giving Charlie the signal like, okay, go for an uh, go for an aerial out of the ledge. Drops out of the pot dodge though, and now Aladdin is going to enter right into that echo from Wolf. Is he going to go off stage? Oh, he I like that. He drops down for the nair, but he only gets the trade even stocks. Great choice, though, because if you have a lasting hitbox like the air, um, the wolf, it's able to catch your opponents. Absolutely. Options. Right idea, wrong execution from Charlie. You can really see that nair was so good, especially when he this is the left such out a of the jump. This is such a percentage extension at this point, right? Like 75% right off the bat. It is, it's just a war of attrition at this point. Whoever just blinks first loses. Edge guard here. I like it. He wanted to space out for the forward tilt or the forward smash, or maybe even jab. One of those three options there. But unfortunately, a little bit too slow in the start. Great grab. Put him off the stage here. Can he get the edge guard here? I would have loved to have seen forward tilt over forward smash. I feel like Vilana was not ready for to get hit by forward smash, or wasn't going to come with any option. Perhaps. Lucina can vary her recovery because the Dolphin Slash has such high range and the float speed is a bit different, but. Back air? No, the parry. Okay, the up tilt puts Vilana. 145% and he's facing backwards. Misses the tech though. No tech chase. Forces the lower cover here and he immediately starts setting up for the point. That's great because he kind of forced Valan to go with those options. Cycling in and Valan will put him off stage with back air. Nice. Sweet so with the ledge with, with flash. So I will fire. Full cross up. Nice, gets the down throw. Can you get the edge guard here? Once again, sets himself up with a forward tilt or the E. There it is. It's the spacing and the fact that he uses blaster before he goes to that option. He sets it up so his opponent does not go for a high recovery. Not even a mid recovery, they force to go for the low recovery. Yeah, Charlie just has a mental timer in his head, just waiting for that invulnerability to land out. And at 175%, there's just so little Vladin could do. Had to pick an option almost immediately, and when he hesitated, Charlie striked. All right, we'll see here. Try with game one. No character switch from either, char from either player, but we're going to go to Battlefield for game two. This is a stage that perhaps benefits Lucina a bit more. I'm not quite sure why this wasn't either, why this was the selection here, because you have to imagine that Charlie knows this is one of Lucina's best stages. And against a character such as Wolf, that doesn't necessarily have bad stages. Your best stage is your opponent's worst stage. Yeah. Nice, hold shield there, able to get around. Dancing Blade, but unfortunately not able to come back on the stage. Even though Valadin did lose the interaction there, he's able to still edge guard with a counter. Yeah, easy edge guard when Valadin is out of, Valadin saw Charlie as being out of the jump rather. He just dropped down with a counter and got an early kill.
Charlie strikes back. 60% here. Can he get the down smash? And he does because the neutral get up there was the one thing Valada should not have gone for. Absolutely. Any other get up option, he would have been safe, but had to pick the one that led to his mines. And two stocks traded very early. And Charlie's spacing is really immaculate, honestly. We kind of saw that with Ford the last game. So it just lets Valada know, like, okay, I have to really be careful because Charlie's spacing is always on point. His check chase here, also pretty close. It is. We do character or we do usually associate Lucina with long kick boxes, but F-Tilt will outrange every move that Lucina has. Oh, you get stuck on the ledge a little bit too long, and you're going to get killed by the car scratcher. And now Vladimir is going to be on his last stock. Charlie's still mid percent in his second. Okay, that, that was a problem. That's really hard to react to, but Charlie went for immediately follow up after the four tilt because he knew he had Valana off the stage. Yeah, wasn't untackable, but very hard to react to nonetheless. And now Charlie's going to be put onto his last off. Wants to go for a fair string or perhaps a few lasers to get something started. Nice. Giving a little bit of the mid range here. He wants to make sure he's either getting in space or using more of a footsie's game to lure Valana in. This is the fair, but fall straight into the dancing blade, and now the lad is facing backwards. You know he wants that one back air option. Oh, it has to be kind of like a get-up option, too, because look at the way that Vlada was setting himself for another aerial. That tilt in the other direction, and now he has him back off stage. Does not manage to trap him. Tech hole in was not covered. Mm, keep him spacing here. On the four tilt, get him off the stage. Oh, he hasn't had the time to actually use blaster at all, but as I say that, the classic here is going to be the blaster coming into his face. Drops down at the platform, whips the F-Tilt, but not comes there. Now he has him back on stage, returns with an air. Down, he's either got a down smash or a forward tilt plan here. Good Go spacing. For I, I like the use of back airs because at this point, uh, we are seeing Len show a little bit of sense of respect by going for an aerial. Down tilt now, gets him back to the other side of the stage. Yep. Calls him out with the F-Tilt. Charlie is going to take game two, 2-0 two -oh up, and Valadin is already feeling the burn here. It's kind of one of those things where, like, at this point, Charlie had condition of a lion just kind of stay around the ledge. And if he stays on the ledge too long, Charlie will punish it for him. Right. Not only that, like the way he's able to just dominate any of Valadin's coming out from the ledge. Like if he goes for an aerial, Charlie has a back air set up, right? So it kind of causes Valadin to like evaluate his options and have to pick like, okay, I'm either going to roll get up or neutral get up. And that's the one thing Charlie's waiting for. Exactly. At this point, it's kind of like putting your opponent on check by covering their moves pre predeterminately. Yeah, you could see he just had that record of his past few interactions in his head. As soon as he got that reverse tilt the time before, you knew Valadin was either being conditioned to drop down and recover back, or just go for a neutral get up the ladder, which he actually did. And both options were covered by that F tilt. So nice, Charlie has to dip extra low to avoid the back air. There. Chases with an air. Good back air. Sensing Charlie's out of shield option. Stalls the first hit of there. I like that it goes for the second attempt there after the short hop. Aladdin is just occupying this space by the one. ledge. Nice, good dash grab. Try coming out with an air out of the show. Oh, oh, and he sneaks in a back air, and it's good enough because at this point, that back air is going to send Lucina that far off of the stage. She can't, she can't make the recovery. Charlie takes the trade. I'm not going to lie, that was a well placed trade. Yeah, absolutely. If you still have that jump conserved, and Valadin might just not have been sure whether he burned it in the interaction prior, that's certainly a trade you want to take when you're down 40 or so percent. Mm -hmm. Nice, looking at kind of stuff trying to come back on the platforms. Back. Like, like that sets up for the whip punish here because he knows he might be using one of the platforms to come back on the stage. Great, that's what it's for. Why does the dash tax expires? Great, empty hops here, kind of mixing things up around Valadin. He could be sitting up for a down smash. He's going to be sitting up for a down smash. Yeah, lands with an air. Tech chase. Carry into the dolphin slash and now back on stage. Comes up with the shine, but. Jumps straight into the nair. I felt like Vladimir could have punished that wolf flash because it doesn't auto set the ledge. So that would have been a great opportunity to go for forward tilt or a down tilt. So now Charlie can come back off stage with the no. tilt and the laser. He has to go for the late recovery and Charlie was so close to calling it out. I respect the back throw. Charlie might have to dip extra level again here once more. He have to get up into the nair though and now Vladimir is going to have a stock lead. I don't see, uh, like, it's really interesting he came out with an aerial, but I don't see an opportunity where the aerial would have been the right call. I would have also seen him go for a neutral get up and wait to see how Vladimir's going to space around himself. Because that's what he's been doing. He's been setting up himself for whip punishes and for Charlie's out of the out of the ledge play. Had it just yeah. been worried that there might have been a bit too telegraphed, but nevertheless, he does get the kill straight after. Only 11% down to start, but after that quick combo, a bit more. Forward air. 
Nice up throw. No mix up here, just a little more percent here. Oh, I like it too because at this point, Vilana was trying to get out away from the combo. But now he's facing backwards, dash dances in and out. Good parry, but doesn't get the down tilt as a follow up. F tilt might have reached him. Gets the shine though. And now he does have a jump. I was going to say, he's either going to go fade away near before I tell cross up. It doesn't get anything out, out of it. That's the camera coming back on the stage. Wanted another shot. A bit greedy there, but didn't manage to make it all the way to that side platform. So I wouldn't blame Charlie for his greediness at this point, right? The money's in the bank. You're going to collect your 3-0. Might as well try to cash in the check as soon as possible. Certainly. Okay. I, I want to see, I was going to say, dash tech. He has opportunities to go for blaster, but one thing we don't see him go for blaster in the neutral is that it might vibe a lot in time to go back on the stage here in the back after punishing Charlie from going for the up smash. I get it, though, because at this point, he had kind of, like, stopped Zolana from going for, um, for out, of, out of ledge options from aerials. So he was kind of conditioning him to go for, okay, you're either going to neutral get up or roll at this point. You're not going for any uh, jump out of ledge. Certainly. He had that option covered with the last two ledge guards, and... As soon as he got that up smash out of shield, it is frame 13, but it does have a considerable amount of end lag as well. So, Baladin took that into consideration and looped around with the back air to secure the kill. It's a game four. It's going to be... Um, so we are going to see a change in stage, finally. Uh, this time it is on Charlie's counterfeit, so perhaps to be expected. On the Smashville, this is a stage that Wolf, I think, might favor in this matchup. That only that central platform with which you can extend fair and up air strings, and Lucina can't really get much going off stage with it. Perhaps not more than an ordinary FD pick. Nice. Portal. Has the good space in there too as well. Came off the stage. Takes away, and now Charlie enjoying about a 30% lead, but nice banana. that's going to be an easy grab. Oh, oh. oh. I, I, I like that opportunity for the line to go for that one. Like, good decision to go for the counter at ledge. Charlie has to be. Oh, he's been missing these up smashes too, and that's the one thing that's kind of been causing him like a lot of pain these past few games. Yeah, Charlie is out of a jump, Aladdin can just counter at ledge, and Charlie will have to be inch perfect to make it back. Good F tilt to get him back off the stage, but no wasn't punish. prepared to get it. No punish from Aladdin against that oval flash. Good parry, Orto, good punish here. Sets up once again for the edge guard. I like the fact that he shows us back air. He could be trying to read it. You could angle forward to right to actually face away from you as well, but you could also go for a back air as well, a down smash. An up smash as well, so Charlie like showing a lot of signs there. Not ready for the wolf flash, and he kind of catches a lot of off guard going for those aerials. Well, unfortunately, Charlie's gonna eat that forward until off the stage. He has to use the wolf fire, the unteckable there, that high percent, gonna be guaranteed stock from Vladimir. Yeah, no harm, no foul from Vladimir after missing that, perhaps getting caught sleeping. He will get him through the back there, and the unteckable will bring this to an even stock situation. There gets him off stage, and the fair won't connect. Wanted to go for another stage spike, but he's just too high for that. Tries to run back to extend stage control. One thing sometimes we don't see opponents do for is go for a running shield, right? Like, you really just try to shield your opponent for an option. Oh, there, though. The oh, I, okay. I, he was trying to angle it so he could uh, grab the ledge, but unfortunately he just did not angle it the right way. Yeah, but Wolf, it's not exactly a full 360 degrees. There are just weird idiosyncrasies where all the angles aren't the even angle. Of, all the angles aren't the same distance apart. And that can be a bit tricky if you don't have it. That was good. That was really good because he was either going to directional air dodge to grab the ledge or directional air dodge to try to find attack. And Charlie immediately made the call out there. One option to cover both. Down throw, deck jam, and I could dash deck. Another one. This is solid percent here for Charlie. I'm going to probably put this up to 3-1 if the Lana can actually say something about it. The back air gets him back off stage with an air. He does have his... No, he didn't have his jump, but... It's a Carry, nice. Sees the cross up really able to react with Fortal. For Charlie's chasing him back. He is facing forward, so not going for the back air now, but... Kind of still has to respect the line too. Look at uh, look at how much percent he separates from him and the line, right? Lucina still has the kill power to actually put Charlie off stage. So two forward airs in there. Could spell curtains. Yeah, 30 or so more percent. Even just like a weak F tilt. Oh, nice. Of course, low recovery, and he nearly calls out the up B. Charlie with a 3 1, and the line gives him the handshake. Excellent dare to finish it off. Charlie, you hadn't been going for that option too much which you usually expect at mid percents, but at high percents, I don't think Valadin is expecting it at all. Perhaps an F-tilt or something to catch a different style of recovery, and that's to his detriment.